Is Lemo coming? Let me just take a quick look. Yeah, let's uh, let's fire up the band. Let's do it. Victor Newman uh, making his way through the studio and pushing aside a couple autograph seekers. Ted Nesbitt. Um, Victor is now in studio. Victor, welcome to the show. This is week number one of the NFL season, and we look forward to your passionate picks. Like I said, Ted, I do not like being touched by you. Right? The hell's the matter with you? Shut the hell up. I'm sorry, Dave. That Ted Nesbitt's a little grabby. You know what I mean? Yeah. Take it easy, Weinstein. <laughs> All right, let's get to the down picks. The first time in the season, I've had a chance to do it, and I'm going to tell you something. These are goddamn winners. All of them. Let's start with TCU at SMU. It's minus 22 and a half. TCU on the road. Guess what they're called? No, I have no idea. The Horned Frogs. No, the yes. Horned Frogs, yes. That was my nickname when I was seven. <laughs> hey, bet. Minus 22 and a half is no problem. SMU going to have a tough year, especially against TCU. So take them on the road. Northwestern minus two and a half at home to Duke. You know something? I can't stand Duke. I think I might buy that university next year. Fill it full of dummies. Russell, what are you doing next year? Do you see what I did? It's a damn good <laughs> joke right there. Minus two and a half. Take that to the bank. That might be my luck of the goddamn week. Minus two and a half at home. University of Cincinnati goes to Miami of Ohio. Let me tell you something. If you saw Cincinnati at UCLA last week, I did with my son Christian. Mm. You know, he attended uh, UCLA. He's a goddamn filmmaker. It's a good one, too. Take plus one, Cincinnati, the Bearcats on the road. You remembered his name. That's Absolutely. good. Absolutely. You shut the hell up, David. Let's get to the NFL. The Minnesota Vikings are going to be a damn good team this year. I know Jimmy Garoppolo's dating porn stars. Put the dildo down and promise to play a better football game, but I'll tell you what, it's not going to mean a damn thing. Because the Vikings at minus six and a half under touchdown, I'm going to be taking them. Actually, Nikki and I will be at that game. Really? Still with her, eh? None of your damn business. Let's go to the Baltimore Ravens. Minus seven and a half is a shitty number, but I'll tell you something right now. The team they're playing is even shittier. Peterman. More like... Forget it. Minus seven and a half, <laughs> Ravens. And finally, the Carolina Panthers, minus three at home to the Dallas Cowboys. I know people are huge on Dallas, but trust me. See, there's the first touchdown right now. And you know I'm a fan of the Carolina Panthers. I go there quite often. I even dab like this. Look at Victor Newman dabbing. That's what Ooh, he do. That's, that's good. That's 47.48 times your money in those six games. That's 50 times your money. Trust me. Rob a bank, steal from your mother, or pretend you're... Canada Revenue, I get some money, and make that bet. Back to you, David. You're looking damn good, you know that. Thanks. I, uh, I say, get it from somebody. Say hi to your mother for me. That's Victor Newman and his passionate picks for week number one of the NFL season. Yeah, good, yeah, good to have him back. It was good to have him back. Also, I noticed, too, that uh, he didn't throw in any, uh, any soccer. No. I think, I think Victor Newman was very upset about the soccer last week, so he didn't put any soccer games in. Six games, though, pretty good. Yep. Pretty good, and I like uh, his reasoning. Now. What? We just become best friends. Yep. 